Hello folks. This is part two of my comparison of all of these wireless microphone setups. Today I'll be testing the range of these systems in a couple different situations. For each test, I'll have the transmitter clipped to my belt at my side. This video isn't specifically about sound quality, but I will be using the same microphone on all of these systems, except for the Fi Fine, which has a different connector, and the adapter I bought doesn't work very well. The microphone I'll be using is more sensitive than the MKE-2 that I used in the last video, so I might get a little bit better results out of the cheap systems uh, that just have you know a lot of self-noise when they're used with a, a microphone that quiet that you have to boost the audio so much. The audio will be a bit more representative of real-world results as well, rather than you know audio in a sound booth, which is typically the last place you'd use a wireless system. I'll be starting with the cheapest systems again, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, an indoor test. Right now I'm in my garage. I'm not going to get a whole lot of distance away from the receiver, but I'm going to be able to put a couple of walls and a vehicle between me and the receiver, and we'll see how the systems do in that situation. So now I'm walking to the back of the garage and across and behind the car. So there's now a car in between me and the receiver, although the receiver is facing the transmitter right now. And I'm going to go through the door into the house. Now that I've shut that door, there's officially a door and a wall in between, you know, me and the receiver and transmitter. And go through another door. And now I'm in the kitchen, probably only about 30 or 40 feet away from the receiver uh, at the most. But there are a couple of walls in between me and the receiver. So we'll see how this system holds up with some obstacles in the way. Coming back out now. All right, now I've come through both doors and I'm back in the garage, walking back over towards the receiver. So there we go, five fine test indoor, with a couple walls in the way. Let's see how it did. Okay, so now I'm recording with the Hotec system, uh, but now I'm using the Sennheiser ME2 microphone, and that's the microphone that I will be using with all the rest of the systems. So once again, walking to the back of the garage, and across the garage behind the car and opening the first door going into the house and now that that door is shut I'm going to open the next door and go into the next room so now I'm in the kitchen so once again two doors two walls kind of between me and the wireless system but the actual distance between the transmitter and the receiver right now is probably only maybe 40 feet max Probably not even quite that, but either way, quite a lot of stuff in between. So now I'm walking back, opening the first door. And through the second door, back into the garage. And now back across the garage and walking back over to the camera. So that's it, that's the Hotec system and how that performs in kind of a smallish indoor space, but with a couple of walls in the way. All right, so now we're using the PhotoWelt Air wireless system. And just a note that all the systems so far have been UHF systems. So now with the PhotoWelt system, I'm walking over to the back of the garage and then around behind the car, going through the first door, shutting that door, and then going through the second door, that door closed. Now I'm in the kitchen and uh, in the kitchen about maybe 35 to 40 feet tops away from the receiver, but a couple walls in between and the doors are both closed. So this is what the system is like indoors with a couple walls in between. So now I'm walking back out, back through the first door. And opening the second door out into the garage, out from behind the car, and now I'm walking back across the garage and standing right behind the camera. So that's how the photo welt system does with this you know, kind of basic indoor test. Okay, and now we're recording with the Ceramonic Blink 500 system. This is the first 2.4 gigahertz system in the test. So uh, let's go walking again and see how it does. Walking around to the back of the garage, turning, going across behind the car, and uh, opening, going through the first door, 
closing that door behind me. Now, walking, going through the next door, up into the kitchen. Got that door closed, out into the middle of the kitchen. And here I am again, maybe 40 feet or so away from the receiver. And both doors closed, so we got a couple of walls and a car between me and the receiver. And this is how this system is doing. So, walking back now, opening the first door, coming back out through that first door. Open up the next door, back out into the garage, and out from behind the car. And now walking back across the garage, back over to the camera. So there's my simple indoor test with the Blink 500 system, first 2.4 gigahertz system. All right, so now I'm recording with the Rode Wireless Go, the second 2.4 gigahertz system in the test. So once again, let's go walk in, see how it does. So turn walking back across the garage and turn walking back behind the car. And again, uh, one thing to note is that, I just stopped walking for a second. The transmitter is at on my belt at my side, so it is actually like directly behind the car in all these tests. So with all these microphones, it's at my side. So it's, it's actually going completely behind the car uh, when I walk back here. Anyway, going through the first door. Into the house. And going through the second door. Into the kitchen. And walk into the center of the kitchen. Turn back around. And now once again, center of the kitchen. 35 to 40 feet away from the receiver with the Rode Wireless Go. Uh, two walls with doors closed in between me and the receiver. So, walking back out now. Open the first door. And open in the second door and through there into the garage. Back out from behind the car. And across the garage. Back over to the receiver. So that's how the Rode Wireless Go does with a couple of walls in between. Okay, so now I'm recording with the Rode Link system. This is the final 2.4 gigahertz system in the test. So let's see how it does. Walking across the garage, walking behind the car, and uh, going through the first door into the house. And Going through the second door into the kitchen. And out into the center of the kitchen. And now here I am, standing about probably 35 to 40 feet away from the receiver with two walls with closed doors in between. So that's how the Roadlink system is doing with that situation. So now I'll walk back out, back through the first door. Open up the second door, back through into the garage, out from behind the car, and then back across the garage, and now back uh, right in front of the camera. Well, okay, behind the camera, but you know, right here. <laughs> so that's how the Roadlink system did with this, you know, kind of basic, not too long range of an indoor test, but with a couple walls in between. Now I'm recording with the Ceramonic UW Mic 9 another UHF system. So let's see how this one does. So once again, walk into the back of the garage and turn and going back behind the car and open the door, go into the house. Got that door closed, going through the next door. Got that door closed as well. And now I'm in the middle of the kitchen. So once again, 35, 40 feet away from the receiver, two walls in between, and you know, some other random stuff like a car. <laughs> so uh, this is how the UW Mic 9 system is doing. Now, walk back out, back through the first door, and back out through the second door, back into the garage, and walk out from behind the car, and back across the garage, and then stopping right next to the camera and receiver again. So that's the Ceramonic UW Mic 9, tested indoors in the same situation with a couple walls in between. All right, now I'm recording with the Sennheiser Evolution G4. 
Now this is the 500 series, so it does have adjustable RF transmission output power, uh, but I have it set at standard right now. There's also a lower setting and a higher setting, but just so you know, I have it set at standard right now. So I'm gonna do the same test. I'm gonna walk across the garage here, walking over to the back of the garage, and I'm gonna turn and walk behind the car. And I'm gonna go through the first door into the house. Close that door. I'm gonna go through the second door into the kitchen. Close that door too. And then I'm gonna go out to the middle of the kitchen and turn back around. And so now I'm facing the receiver about 35 to 40 feet away, but uh, there's two uh, walls with closed doors in between me and the receiver. So this is how the Evolution G4 system does. So now I'm gonna walk back out. Going back out through the door. And back out through the second door into the garage. And back out from behind the car. And back across the garage. And then ending back right behind the camera again. So that's how the Sennheiser Evolution G4 system does in the same indoor test that I did with all the rest of the systems. So that's it for the indoor testing. So now I'm going to go outdoors and do some more testing at much longer distances. Okay, so for the first test outside, I'm using the Fifine. I'm about 50 feet away from the recorder with the receiver on it. And once again, I'm using the included microphone with the Fifine. There's a little bit of a breeze out here today, so I do have the included foam windscreen on the mic, uh, but uh, my furry windscreen doesn't fit it, so for this one, it might be picking up some wind noise. I apologize for that. So I'll try to make this one quick. Either way, first test about 50 feet away. I'm actually facing the receiver right now, but again, the transmitter is actually on my side. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, turn 360 degrees slowly and uh, see if there's any dropouts. So I'm turning slowly, now I'm facing away. Uh, turning slowly again and back around and now I'm facing the receiver again. So that's how this one does at 50 feet. Let me move back a little bit and we'll see how it does. All right, now I'm about 100 feet away, still recording with the $30 Fifine system. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around in place here. So now I'm facing kind of 90 degrees to the receiver. Now I'm facing away from the receiver. 90 degrees the other way, so now the transmitter's facing it. And now I'm back to facing the receiver. Once again, transmitter uh, clipped to my belt on my side. All right, so let's move back one more time. Okay, now I'm about 150 feet away or so. And uh, this is how the audio is working at 150 feet with the Fifine system. I'm gonna go ahead and turn slowly around. I'm at 90 degrees, continuing to turn. Now I'm at about 180 degrees. Turn a little again. Once again, about 90 degrees and turned again. And now I'm back facing the receiver. So that's how this one does at 150 feet. Now about 200 feet away from the receiver. So once again, I'm just gonna turn slowly about 90 degrees away. Now I'm facing away from the receiver. Turn 90 degrees again. Now I'm facing away, transmitter at my side. Turn 90 degrees again, transmitter is now facing the receiver. And turn again, now I'm facing the receiver. So that's how the Fifine did. Let's move on to the next system. All right, now we're recording with the Hotec system. Once again, starting out at 50 feet away. Transmitter's at my side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around in place now. See if we get any dropouts. So now I'm turning about 90 degrees. Now I'm about uh, 180 degrees facing away. Now about 90 degrees, but with the transmitter facing the receiver. And now back to uh, me facing the receiver. So that's how I did it 50 feet. Let's go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm about 100 feet away and I'm facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and turn 90 degrees. Now the transmitter is on the opposite side of my body versus the receiver. Now I'm gonna continue turning. Now I'm facing directly away, uh, turning again. Now I'm at uh, 90 degrees and turning the rest of the way and now I'm back facing the receiver. So that's how it does at 100 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and move back again. Okay, now we're about 150 feet and I'm facing the receiver. I'm gonna go ahead and start turning. So turning now, facing 90 degrees away, receiver's opposite side of my body is the transmitter. Continuing to turn, now I'm facing away. Turn. Now I'm facing 90 degrees, transmitter facing the receiver. And now I continue to turn, and I'm back facing the receiver. So let's back up one more time, see how this thing does. Okay, now I'm about 200 feet away with the Hotec system. So I'm facing the receiver, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in place. So turn slowly, now facing 90 degrees, 
transmitter is behind my body. Now I turn another 90 degrees. Now I'm facing directly away. Turning again. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter's facing the receiver. And now I finished turning and I'm back facing the receiver. So that's how the Hotix system did, 200 feet. So let's move on to the next system. Okay, next up is the photo welt system, which is what I'm recording with now. Once again, starting out at 50 feet, transmitter is uh, clipped to my belt at my side. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is opposite side of my body of the receiver. Turning another 90 degrees. Now I'm facing directly away. Turning another 90 degrees. And once again turning. And now I'm back facing the receiver. So that's 50 feet. Let me go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm about 100 feet facing the receiver. And turn, facing 90 degrees, transmitter is behind my body. Turning another 90 degrees, now I'm facing directly away. Continuing to turn, facing another 90 degrees, and turning still, now I am facing the receiver again. So, this is the photo vault system at 100 feet. I'm going to go ahead and move back again. We'll keep going. Okay, now I'm at about 150 feet with the photo vault system facing the receiver, and now I'm turning now I'm facing 90 degrees transmitter behind my body continuing to turn now I'm facing directly away continuing to turn now I'm facing 90 degrees transmitters facing the receiver and continuing to turn now I'm back facing the receiver so that's a photo welt system at 150 feet now I'm gonna go ahead and move back to 200 feet and we'll keep going okay now I'm at about 200 feet with the photo welt system I'm gonna go ahead and start turning and I am facing the receiver. All right, next up is the Saramonic Blink 500 system, which is what I'm recording with now. Again, starting out at 50 feet, transmitter strapped to my side. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn in place. And I just turned 90 degrees, transmitter is now behind my body. Continue to turn, now I'm facing directly away from the receiver, continuing to turn. Now the transmitter is facing the receiver, Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing receiver transmitter at my side. So, Ceremonic Blink 500 at 50 feet. I'm going to go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm about 100 feet facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and turn slowly. So, turning now. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is behind my body. Continuing. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now at 90 degrees, receiver is facing the transmitter. Now I'm back again. I'm facing directly towards the receiver. So, Ceremonic Blink 500 at 100 feet. Let's move back. Okay, now I'm at about 150 feet. Ceremonic Blink 500, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in place. Turning slowly, now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing, now I'm facing directly from the receiver. Continuing to turn, 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I am back facing the receiver. So, that was 150 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and move back one more time to 200 feet. Okay, now I'm back at about 200 feet, Ceremonic Blink 500 at my side. I'm going to go ahead and start turning slowly. Now I'm facing about 90 degrees, transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing away from the receiver, continuing to turn 90 degrees. Receiver is now facing the transmitter and continuing to turn. And now I am facing the receiver. So that is the Ceremonic Blink 500 system at about 200 feet. So let's move on to the next one. All right, now I'm recording with the Rode Wireless Go. Again, starting out about 50 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in place. So turning now, now I'm about 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn 90 degrees. Now I'm facing away from the receiver. Continuing to turn 90 degrees. Now the transmitter is facing the receiver on my side. And continuing to turn, and now I'm back facing the receiver. So Rode Wireless Go at 50 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm back at about 100 feet, and I'm facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Turning slowly, now I'm at 90 degrees, transmitter behind my body, 90 degrees. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver, continuing to turn 90 degrees. Now I'm facing to the side, and the transmitter is facing the receiver, continuing to turn. Now I am back facing the receiver. So, that was 100 feet with the Rode Wireless Go. I'm going to go ahead and move back again. 
Okay, now I'm at about 150 feet with the road wireless go facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Uh, turning to the side. Now, kind of behind. Now I'm away from the receiver, continuing to turn. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver, continuing to turn. Now I'm back facing the receiver. So, road wireless go 150 feet and go ahead and move back again. All right, now I'm about 200 feet with the road wireless go facing the receiver. I'm going to start turning slowly. Transmitter by my side. From the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing at 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver. Continuing to turn, and now I'm back facing the receiver. So that's the Rode Wireless Go at 200 feet. So let's move on to the next system. All right, next up we have the Rode Link system. Once again, starting out at 50 feet, I'm standing facing the receiver, and I'm going to go ahead and turn. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is at my side, kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver and continuing to turn. Now I'm back to facing the, the receiver. So that was the road link at 50 feet. Let's go ahead and move back. All right, now I'm at about 100 feet with the road link system. And I'm gonna go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter's kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Now I'm continuing to turn, facing 90 degrees, transmitter's facing the receiver, and continuing to turn, and now I am back facing the receiver. So that was 100 feet. Let me go ahead and move back again. Okay, now I'm at about 150 feet with the road link system. I'm facing the receiver. Now I'm going to start to turn. Now I'm facing 90 degrees, transmitter's at my side, kind of behind my body. Now I'm continuing to turn, facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn, facing 90 degrees, transmitter is now facing the receiver. And now I'm continuing to turn, and now I am back to facing the receiver. So that was 150 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and move back. All right, now I'm back at 200 feet with the road link system. I'm facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and start to turn. All right, now I'm facing 90 degrees, transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn, I'm now facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn, now I'm at 90 degrees, transmitter is facing the receiver and continuing to turn, and now I am back to facing the receiver. So that was the road link system at 200 feet. Now let's move on to the next system. Okay, now I'm recording with the Saramonic UW Mic 9. Once again at 50 feet, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in place. Turn 90 degrees, transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn, now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn, now I'm at 90 degrees again. Transmitter is now facing the receiver continuing to turn, and now I am back facing the receiver. So that was 50 feet. Let's go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm back at right about 100 feet with the Saramonic UW Mic 9. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Facing 90 degrees, transmitter is kind of behind my body now. Continuing to turn, now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Continuing to turn, now I'm at 90 degrees, transmitter is facing the receiver. Now I'm continuing to turn, now I am back facing the receiver. So that was 100 feet. I'm going to go ahead and move back again. Okay, now I'm back at 150 feet, and I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Turning again. Now I'm back at 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver. And continuing to turn, and now I am back facing the receiver. So that was 150 feet. I'm going to go ahead and move back one more time. Now I'm back at about 200 feet with the Saramonic UW Mic 9 system, and I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees, transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn, now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. Now I'm continuing to turn, back at 90 degrees, transmitter is now facing the receiver. Now I'm continuing to turn, and now I am back facing the receiver. So that was the Saramonic UW Mic 9 at 200 feet. So let's go move on to the last system. All right, and finally, we have the Sennheiser Evolution G4 system. And once again, for this test, I have the RF output power just set to standard. And I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body, so my body is between the transmitter and the receiver. Continuing to turn 90 degrees. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver. 
continuing to turn. Now I'm facing again 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver. And I'm continuing to turn, and now I'm back facing the receiver. So that was 50 feet. I'm going to go ahead and move back. Okay, now I'm at about 100 feet with the Sennheiser G4 facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm at 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn. Now I'm at 180 degrees facing away from the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I'm at 90 degrees. Transmitter is facing the receiver. Continuing to turn. And now I am back facing the receiver. So that's 100 feet. I'm going to go ahead and keep going out. Now I'm right about 150 feet with the Sennheiser G4 facing the receiver. I'm going to go ahead and start turning. Now I'm facing 90 degrees. Transmitter is kind of behind my body. Continuing to turn. Now I'm at 180 degrees facing away from the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I'm about 90 degrees. Transmitter is now facing the receiver. Continuing to turn. Now I'm back directly facing the receiver. So that was 150 feet. Let's move back one more time. And finally, now I'm about 200 feet with the Sennheiser Evolution G4. I'm now facing the receiver, and I'm going to start turning. Now I'm at about 90 degrees, transmitter is behind my body, continuing to turn. Now I'm facing directly away from the receiver, continuing to turn. Now I'm at 90 degrees, transmitter is facing the receiver, and continuing to turn. Now I'm back facing the receiver, transmitter at my side. So that was the Sennheiser system at 200 feet. For me, there were only a couple surprises in the testing. First, I was surprised at how well the Fifine system did at longer range. It really is a shame that it isn't simple to swap out to a better mic. I tried a mic with the same connector and other mics with an adapter that I have and none of it worked properly. The Hotec system didn't have the same impressive range, but with how simple it is to plug in a decent mic, I would say that the Hotec system is still better overall for most use cases. The second surprise to me was the relatively poor performance of the UW Mic 9 at longer ranges. Even at 100 feet, it was starting to show signs of weak signal, and beyond that, it really didn't do well. Not surprising was how quickly the 2.4 GHz systems dropped signal when the line of sight was obstructed outdoors. Keep in mind, UHF systems are not immune to signal degradation from obstruction, but they are more forgiving, particularly with relatively small obstructions. 2.4 GHz signals can reflect off of hard surfaces, so indoors and near structures, you can often get good signal without line of sight, but outside in an open area, direct line of sight is important at anything other than very close range. But it did at least seem that all the 2.4 GHz systems had a strong clear signal even at 200 feet when they did have direct line of sight. As for the indoor tests, keep in mind that my house has standard residential construction but commercial buildings will often have much more RF blocking and absorbing materials used in their construction. But in my house, at relatively short ranges, most of the systems had zero problems, even through two walls. I even turned around in the kitchen, so random reflections must have been working to the benefit of the 2.4 GHz systems, because none of them had any drops. The only system that had serious issues indoors was the PhotoWelt system, which was dropping out before I even left the garage. Uh, it, it performed pretty poor outdoors as well. Ultimately, no major shockers here, but it is still interesting to see how all these systems perform and how they compare. If there's anything else you want me to test with these systems, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.